My name is Alan Neidl. I'm a research associate at Manomet, and we are currently out in the salt marshes of Wellfleet, Massachusetts, uh, studying the wimbrel, a highly migratory shorebird that's uh, stopping over here during the late summer and early fall. There is a pressing need for conservation efforts for wimbrels within the Atlantic Flyway. There's evidence during the last few decades of steep declines in the population, and the population itself within the Western Hemisphere is already quite small. My name is Brad Wynn. I work at Manomet, and I'm the director of shorebird habitat management. The piece of the puzzle that we're very interested in and we have the opportunity to study here in Massachusetts unlike other places that we have studied these birds is uh, the young bird stage here after coming off the Arctic. We're very fortunate in Massachusetts within the fairly short drive of our offices uh, right across the Cape Cod Bay. Uh, the salt marshes support the food resources that wimbrels are specialized in eating and depend upon uh, throughout their migration except up in the in the Arctic during nesting periods. But uh, fiddler crabs uh, are dependent on marshes and the marshes of eastern uh, Cape Cod are loaded with fiddler crabs. When we capture a migrant wimbrel, we fit it with a satellite transmitter that allows us to track the bird's movement in real time. 85 for Bill. Tarsus at uh, 66. Technologies that we're using uh, have evolved very rapidly in about the last 15 years or so. Uh, and our ability to put a small, very lightweight tag uh, on these birds um, after we capture them uh, is opening uh, phenomenal levels of understanding we did not have before. Historically, banding birds and trying to recover data or understand bird migration has taken um, capturing large numbers of birds. In this case, we really are looking at individual birds to represent the many, and not only the, the wimbrels as a species, but we're also using uh, these large shore birds to represent uh, or at least parallel what other species are doing that we that we that are too small and too light to use this technology on. So we're using these larger shorebirds as a surrogate for understanding migrations of other species. The total geographic area used by a species during an annual cycle is termed a flyway. Within a flyway, shorebirds tend to concentrate at widely spaced important locations called staging areas where they rest, refuel, and prepare for the next leg of their journey. The locations these birds go, both uh, locally around Cape Cod and during migration south, the staging places they need going north, and then nesting grounds as well. Putting all of those pieces of this puzzle together, putting the uh, the stopping points and you know, the, the food resource needs of the birds together, understanding the danger zones for them during migration is really important. Uh, so weaving together the large migration ecology of the birds will help us in the long run then apply the resources we need to help protect them and maintain these flyaways that they use. If the stopover sites become compromised biologically or become too dangerous or there's enough habitat lost in some of those sites, then the whole circuit goes and that migratory pathway is lost and the populations are lost that use those, uh, use the, the very specific locations like what this Cape, outer Cape Cod area is for wimbrels and other shorebirds. Manomet is working with a team of partners to fill information gaps gather baseline population data, and build a conservation strategy for the Wimbrel.
For more than 50 years, Manomet has used science and collaboration to identify critical sites for shorebirds and promote their protection and effective management, while also supporting the coordination of research and conservation efforts across political boundaries. Through our research efforts here on Cape Cod and throughout the Western Hemisphere, we aim to safeguard the health of wimbrel populations and protect the habitat they rely on throughout their annual cycle.